Hey, it's Dakota Plays Guitar, and today we're going to be learning how to do this. So the first thing you're going to need to do um, these really musical notes uh, is a guitar with a Floyd Rose uh, or a locking tremolo. Uh, this is my buddy's guitar I was just working on. I just set this up so it's floating, meaning I can pull back on the bar or I can dive. And the, the difference of the sound is dive or you can pull up. crazy noises and squeals that people really do like um, like Dimebag Daryl did and Steve Vai does and all those guys. What you're going to need to do is um, hit the harmonics on the guitar. And the harmonics, if you don't know what they are, are basically it's the vibrations of the strings within the scale length and um, mathematically it breaks down and you can hit these notes. So that's the, that's the real technical version. Layman's terms of it, it's just basically notes that you don't have to push down. Um, for example, go to a clean channel on over the fifth fret, seventh fret, twelfth fret. You can hit them real easy. And what I'm doing there is I'm not pushing down on the strings. I'm merely just having my finger over the fret. And uh, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this, but um, for like metal and all the crazies and stuff, you can um, you hit a lot of distortion and you hit one of these harmonics. It's a really high pitched note and it's easy to work with. So the easiest way to start this out is to find the harmonics on the G string. The um, you know, third string from the bottom. So what I'm going to do is find it on the fifth fret. And I can take the bar and I can rock it both ways and you'll see you get that crazy sound. Dive or pull it up, and when I add a lot of distortion, it's gonna make it, uh, you know, even more expressive. Okay, so the really, really high pitch ones, it actually goes the opposite of what you would think. Normally, you would think the higher up the fingerboard. <laughs> the higher the pitch is going to be. But with harmonics, it's sort of the opposite. So if you go back to, say, the third fret, and try to get the harmonic, it's not as easy to get as the fifth fret, but it's there. Um, it's all it's, Right over the second fret's another really good one. You get a lot of gain to get that. And what I do is I like to go down, and I like to pull back up with it. So let's do it over the third fret, and we'll see what it sounds like. Okay, um, another way to do this, um, I, oh, I've seen Steve Vine, I've seen um, Dimebag Daryl do it, is you have the bar this way, and you can push down like that, and you can kind of control it, instead of having it this way, going up and down, you do it up and down like this. So let's do the same thing with that third fret. And all the noise you get is just um, really mess around with the bar. So the, the, the real trick to do one of these, um, these squeals is to depress the bar so all your strings are slack. And then you flick the string with your middle finger. So I'll do it again. Hitting it down so it's loose flicking it with my, my middle finger. And as I'm doing that, my, my hand is kind of muting the other strings so they don't ring out as well. 
Um, as the, the, the string is vi uh, vibrating, as it's like dampened, you take your middle finger and you hit where the harmonic is, and you slow, you gently let go, and it's gonna ring out, and then you can really pull it like crazy. So I'll do it slow with a lot of distortion like this. an easy way to do it. Um, it's going to be easier to try this on, say, the fifth fr um, fret harmonic. Depress the bar. All these strings you can see are really floppy. So you don't need to press it that much because that's a little overkill. So what I'm going to do is depress it. the whole time I was very controlling with my hand of uh, muting all the strings. So that's the close-up on it. 